Hey everybody, this is John Scarborough. I just wanted to make a little video today um, here in the shop doing a little bit of work. I wanted to make a video about um, grinding and some of your cleanup work uh, after you get done doing some cuts. Um, you know, I don't go laughing at my ugly cut here. I uh, got, got a really old torch here, a uh, really old tip. Probably should have cleaned it up a little bit before I showed this video so y'all don't laugh. Uh, <laughs> no, seriously, any, uh, guys, I wanted to show this. You, any of you farmers will appreciate this. This is baler belt right here. Um, come off of an old baler, uh, come off of an old baler, round baler. And uh, all I did was take it and just screw it down to this wooden table here. And this is the best place for grinding stuff and cleaning stuff up. Obviously, if it's a bigger piece of material like that or something, you're not going to sit there and uh, do anything with it very much. But this right here is a really light, a light piece. I did this on the plasma cutter. It's extremely thin, this right here. It's about a 64th of an inch, okay? Um, so this is very, very thin. I just, just got through cutting this on the plasma cutter. I was doing a test, um, just doing a test to see if I could even cut something that thin. Uh, I think it turned out fairly nice considering, of course, it's not cleaned up yet, but considering how, um, how thin it was uh, and how low I had to, had to uh, set the plasma cutter and everything, literally couldn't even see the lines when I'm cutting it out. I had to cut it so fast to keep it from blowing it out. But it, it turned out all right, but so thin and so small that this thing would just fall all over the place, fly everywhere, and I could put this in a vise and then I'd have to move it around if I wanted to. Um, wanted to cut in a different spot or something like that. But this material right here, because of its rubber, I mean, I can't move that. You know, and I'm, I, I just take my finger and just a slight bit of downward pressure, okay? I mean, I, I like to do that right there. I mean, I cannot, and push them with everything I got. You know, I mean, I cannot make it move and because there's a little bit of downward pressure, and it's because of this right here. This is some really good, tough, uh, material and another thing that I really like about this baler belt is it holds up to heat exceptionally well Okay, this stuff. I have laid red hot Material here just to test it normally I don't I'm not gonna lay a red hot piece of material down to grind But the point is, is I wanted to see just how well it was holding up because it was holding up better than any rubber I'd ever I'd ever uh, done anything with before so I, I took a piece of red hot metal I had just pulled out of my forge I was doing some playing around and and I laid it on there and I mean you can you can see I mean it was about right in here you can see I barely did any damage at all and I left it there I let it cool laying there and that's what it did uh, it's dunk a little bit I don't suggest staying around in your shop and smelling that but anyway the point is is this this little this baler belt is very nice sometimes you have to replace the belts and your balers, and this happened to be some stuff my father-in-law had. Um, he had laying around, he actually had a whole bunch of it. Um, and this, this is a very good use for it. And I think I'm gonna end up going back a little bit farther. Um, but this is just so handy. So anyway, guys, I wanted to throw that video out there. It might help somebody, uh, and it might even help any of you guys that are actually in a fab shop, or at least definitely help any of you guys at home trying to do just a little bit of work here and there. So anyway, guys, thanks everybody. Don't forget to subscribe and share this stuff just because it's not helping you just because you already know it or you already did it or you've already seen it doesn't mean it won't help somebody else. So thanks everybody.